Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and uh, this is a sunflower, a mammoth sunflower that I'm growing. Let's see, is it blooming yet? No, not quite yet. Um, but it's pretty dang huge. I mean, that's one of the smaller leaves. Uh, the bigger leaves are getting eaten, and uh, I noticed what it was uh, the other day. See, that's all, you know, bitten away right here. It's actually um, little birds. These birds are landing on my uh, on this particular sunflower, and they're just eating away the leaves. And um, you know, it's not killing them yet, uh, so I kind of just I don't I don't go crazy with it. If they continue to do this and they're causing too much damage, I already have my BB gun ready, and I will definitely blast on them. You know, kind of like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> but, uh, and, you know, for the Yupita folks, I don't just kill things just because, as a matter of fact, I don't even kill pests, uh, like worms and stuff like that. I usually uh, utilize them to uh, break down waste, and then uh, I feed them to my chickens. Um, so, they go, to, they go to use. So, but anyway, look at the stalk on this thing. It's like a tree. See that? That is crazy. And so it is just growing really good. I plant these because I like to bring around, um, what is that? Oh, that's a weird bug. Can you guys see that? There it is right there. You know what that is? If I'm not mistaken, that is a hoverfly larva. Sorry to get off the subject, but, uh, it's a hoverfly larva, and uh, you already saw a uh, ladybug on this uh, just a couple seconds ago. And um, if you notice, there's no aphids on this plant in the a the area that there are aphids. Or uh, actually, there are. There's a little bit of aphids here. Sorry, and that's where the ladybug happens to be. But these guys, yeah, these guys right here, it's hoverfly larva, and. Uh, they eat aphids too. So I learned that. You know all those little flies that hover around? Yeah, they're called hoverflies, and they uh, lay these little larvae and turn into those. But anyway, so the sunflower, um, I grow them because I like to uh, get bees around. Because the more you have bees around, and I know a lot of people are afraid of them, but uh, the more you have, uh, the more you get pollinate, pollination in your gardens. And so the more you get pollination, that means more fruit. See, these are all beneficial bugs. Bees. Uh, I have a lot of beneficials this year, especially. Look at that. Look at that. What's on my potato flower there? See, these sunflowers, when they open, it's going to be crazy. They bring around bees like crazy. And that's exactly what you want. You want to make sure that your bee that you're gathering bees around because they'll pollinate all your flowers, and you get more fruit and more veggies out of it. If you don't have that, then you're gonna have blossom die off and all that stuff. So, anyways, just wanted to share this with you guys. My sunflower. I got one here, and then I got another one over here, and that one's really tall. It's just not as not as thick, but still, it's pretty dang thick for a sunflower. So, anyways, garden is booming. Going to have seeds all over the place with these uh, romaine lettuce. And, uh, yeah, everything's going great. Great. Share your garden on uh, homefarmideas.com. We have a forum over there. Just go over there and, and share it. Uh, take a video of it on YouTube and share the uh, link, your YouTube link. And, um, or share, you know, commentary on it or whatever. You just start a new topic on our forum. And, uh, it'd be fun to check everything out with you guys and check out your gardens and what you're doing. So, anyway, God bless you guys. Have a great day. Peace. Or have a peace. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing now.